everyone, it's Jennifer, and I have for you this day in history, September the 9th. In 1956, Elvis Presley makes first appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show. In 1850, California becomes the 31st state in record time. In 1776, Congress renames the nation United States of America. In 1910, Alice B. Talkless moves in permanently with Gertrude Stein. In 1939, audiences are shown a surprise preview of Gone with the Wind. In 1976, Mao Zedong dies. In 1919, the Boston Police Department goes on strike. In 1971, uprising at Attica Prison begins. In 2007, NFL nabs New England Patriots in Spygate scandal. In 1893, President Cleveland's child is born in the White House. In 1967, Sergeant Dwayne D. Hackney receives Air Force Cross. In 1969, Ho Chi Minh buried in Hanoi. In 1942, Japanese bomb U.S. mainland. And our word of the day is Roriferous. 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 R-O-R-I-F-E-R-I-O-U-S. It is an adjective Italian, 16th century. It means producing or generating dew. Before dawn, the riferous clouds rolled in from the ocean. The riferous fog left the grass heavy with morning dew. Interesting. Uh, let's go on to some interesting news. Pumpkin spice, adorkable, and more. Merriam-Webster adds new words to the dictionary. The English language is ever-evolving, and Merriam-Webster is working up to keep up with the times. The company, the oldest dictionary publisher in the U.S., just added 370 new words and terms, ranging from technology speak, like dumb foam, a cell phone that does not include advanced software features, to slang words, adorkable, socially awkward or quirky in a way that is endearing. Also among the new entries is Pumpkin Spice, a particularly timely addition defined as a mixture of usually cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and often allspice that is commonly used in pumpkin pie. The list is the first batch added since October, 2000, October 2021, when the 455 new words included Digital Nomad, Air Fryer, and Dad Bod. The dictionary chronicles how the language grows and changes, which means new words and definitions must continually be added. Marion Webster explained along the 2022 list, when many people use a word in the same way over a long enough period of time, that word becomes eligible for inclusion. Consider using this as an opportunity to bolster your own vocabulary and see how many new words you can use in the next few days. So, I thought I'd pull up some of these words. Video doorbell, a small security camera that is designed for use on an exterior doorbell that includes or connects to a doorbell that is often has a microphone or a speaker. Wow, microgrid, a small grid, especially a local electrical grid that can be connected to a larger network that is also capable of operating independently. Use case, a use to which something, such as a proposed product or service, can be put. Supply chain, the chain of or processes or businesses, etc., by which commodity is produced and distributed. Greenwash, verb, to make something, such as a product, policy, or practice, to appear to be more environmentally friendly or less environmentally damaging than it really is. Interesting. Or, second definition, to mislead someone by means of greenwashing. Interesting. Greenwash, noun, something such as a claim or action that is intended to make a product, policy, activity, etc. appear to be more environmentally friendly 
or less environmentally damaging than it really is. Interesting. Laggy, having a delayed or slow response as to a user's input, marked or affected by lag. Sponkin, S-P-O-N-C-O-N, content posted usually by an influencer on social media that looks like a typical post but for which the poster has been paid to advertise a product or a service. Interesting. Metaverse, a persistent vi virtual environment that allows access to and interoperability to, of multiple individual virtual realities. Wow. Dawn Chorus, the singing of wild birds that closely precedes, precedes and follows sunrise, especially in spring and summer. Wow, there's a lot of these in here. Let's see, mud season, a time of year such as early spring that is characterized by excessively muddy ground. Terraform, to transform a planet, moon, etc. so that it is suitable for supporting human life. Yeet, Y-E-E-T, interjection, slang, used to express surprise, approval, or excitement, enthusiasm. Yeet, verb, to throw especially with, the, with force and without regard for the thing being thrown. Janky, informal, of very poor quality. Interesting. Sus, slang, suspicious or suspect. Luke, L-E-W-K, slang, a fashion look that is distinctive to the wearer and that is noticeable and memorable to others. P-W-N, to dominate and defeat someone or something. Uh, baller, B-A-L-L-E-R, informal, excellent, exciting, or extraordinary especially in a way that is suggestive of a lavish lifestyle. And it goes on and on. There's a huge, huge list here. I mean, a whole huge list. So you can go to merriam-webster.com, words at play, new words in the dictionary, and uh, check that out and see some of the new words. So let us go on to a quote of the day. Quote of the day from Eleanor Roosevelt. Courage is more exhilarating than fear, and in the long run, it is easier. Courage is more exhilarating than fear, and in the long run, it is easier. And let us go on to today's daily devotional for September the 9th. All right, September the 9th, why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? Luke chapter 6, verse 41. Self-preservation is a natural reaction to life, but sometimes it can make you critical of others while justifying your own problems. No one is perfect. Every single person is a sinner. So why judge someone for some small fault you see in them when there are huge problems in your own behavior? Look in the mirror and see what's wrong with your own life. Don't worry about others. God will take care of them. Dear Father, reveal my own weaknesses to me. I know I ignore them or justify them, but I really want to know. God, help me to deal with my own issues instead of criticizing others. In Jesus' name, amen. Everyone could use that. That is very good. Absolutely. And the holidays for today, September the 9th, it is International Sudoku Day, California Admission Day. Care Bears Share Your Care Day. This special day is all about love and care. Emergency Services Day, International Box Wine Day, International Day to Protect Education from Attack. International Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorders Awareness Day, National 401k Day, National When Pigs Fly Day, National Wiener Snitchel Day, Stand Up to Cancer Day, Steak Out Pov Povier Day, okay, uh, Tajikistan Independence Day, T 
Teddy Bear Day. Get excited as we celebrate one of the world's most loyal best friends, the teddy bear. Wonderful Weirdos Day. Don't be afraid to, invade, to embrace, explore your quirkiness on Wonderful Weirdos Day. Adam Sandler's birthday. Cameron Heron's birthday. Colonel Sanders' birthday. Grab you some chicken. Ebony K. Williams' birthday. And William Papa's birthday. So there's a lot of different holidays to celebrate today. I hope you find one that's good for you. In the meantime, I wanted to go ahead and express my deepest condolences to the royal family and to all of the UK uh, for the loss of Her Royal Highness. But in the meantime, please stay safe, be kind to one another, and as always, happy yarning. Bye now.